Welcome to the place, the place where if you would like to learn more about how life actually works after high school, the way you will be perceived, and the information you need to navigate. Hey, I'm 39, I'm eager to bestow that wisdom on you. I'm eager to give you a virtual brain transplant. I need to make that my hashtag, by the way, don't I? I like that, I made that up just now. So we wanna look at a video I made. Uh, it was called Advice to Guys Going to College, The Best Way to Break Up with a Girl. Uh, a comment I received from Jarmo on that, he had this to say, quote, now all we need is a video on breaking, on being at the receiving end of a breakup, I remember almost failing the last exams of high school because I felt so lost after a breakup. For some reason, my mind cannot accept the fact that there will be someone newer and better, end quote. So yeah, I think that's very relevant. And if anyone hasn't seen that first video, I think it's important to watch as a prerequisite for this video because ultimately my last video was if you're breaking up with someone, it's a better version of saying it's not you, it's me. That's really the best way you do it but I put some details in there that might be helpful. So what if you're being broken up with? It's funny, my wife and I are currently going through for the third time watching from beginning to end The Office on Netflix. So I recently saw the video, the episode, I think it's in season two or three where, uh, where Jan and Michael Scott just recognize their romantic feelings that they have for each other and immediately by the next episode, Jan is ashamed of it. She doesn't want anybody to know. And it's almost like she's breaking up with them the whole episode, but they never were officially dating. And so by the end of the episode, when she explains to him why it's not gonna work, even though she obviously changes her mind like a couple episodes later, uh, she, she tells him why it's not gonna work out. Uh, but specifically, he responds, so, so it's not my looks. So, and imagine a man in his mid 40s worried about his looks being the reason people like him or don't like him, which is one of the main themes on this channel. It's different if we're talking about working out, that's lifting weights and all that is more about the concept of discipline that goes behind it, more so than the fact that you have a certain physique. But that was a perfect immature response from a man who's in his mid forties to be relieved that it wasn't his looks for the, the reason she broke up with him. So keep that in mind. So. I'm gonna tell you what I believe are the real reasons a female would break up with, with you. I say first, if you assume that it's your looks, then already you're too immature to be watching this video. Because I, I will not let in, you, you have to be this tall to ride, you have to be mature enough to know it's not about your looks. Otherwise, you shouldn't be watching these videos. So I'm assuming you already know that. So it's not about, she doesn't break up with you over your looks. She breaks up with you because she perceives that you are not enough of one of the following things. Yeah, you're not enough for her at this time in your life of one of the following things. You're not mature enough to emotionally relate to her as far as being able to, as, as the guy, your job is largely to listen without actually giving feedback, to be there for her, emotionally supporting. That's a lot of your job is to do that. So maybe you're not mature enough to handle that. Maybe. And I think largely that's what it comes down to. That's why girls are often attracted to guys that are older because, or even that look older, because they assume that that guy is more mature. They're, they're drawn to that. That's strength for them. So uh, maybe just right now at this time in your life, you're not mature enough for what she needs for someone like that. I think the other main reason could be is that a lot of it comes down to personalities. Have you, I, I've mentioned many times on my channel the Enneagram personality test. And ultimately, looking back in hindsight, I can think of how many relationships never even got started, as far as for me, you know, back when I was single, because there wasn't enough chemistry there with the relationship because of the personality. You know, I have a certain personality as type one on the Enneagram. My wife has number two on that. We are actually quite a perfect complement for each other. But sometimes, you can, you can have two attractive people who are interesting and not self-centered and just there's not chemistry there. And a lot of times I think the female can realize that long term, you don't have enough of that invisible chemistry to make things work long term. So I would say base it off of knowing that it probably, you're not mature enough yet. Not, it's not your problem. It's just like with uh, Cat Stevens, his song Father and Son, which is featured in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. One of the opening lines in that song is he says, you were young, that's your fault. And he goes on to talk about, you have so many more things to know. 
So my son was asking today as I was playing on the guitar, I, and he said, Daddy, why is, it, why is it the person's fault that they're young? I said, well, that's kind of the whole concept. It, it's strange to think that you're at fault for being young and not knowing enough yet. But often that is the case. That's why I love making these videos because I want to take someone who is too young and that is their fault and make them older so it doesn't have to be their fault anymore. You can learn. One of the ways you grow up is you learn how the world actually works from, from an older mentor like me. So I, I understand why he wrote that line in the song. Uh, so ultimately, right now in life, you may just not be there yet. You may not be mature enough yet. Or it may be something you can never change. You can never really change your personality a whole lot. Yes, you can mature, but for the most part, you're probably gonna have the same general personality, which means you are gonna attract certain people and certain people are gonna attract it to you on a chemistry level. And that's what I'm gonna say a lot of us do. So knowing those things, it goes back to one of my sayings, it's not about you. It's always about other people. So once you can accept that, I think that's the, that's the main thing with being broken up and accepting. It's not about you. Maybe it is about you, but again, if you're, it's because you're not mature enough. I would say just keep watching my videos. Keep surrounding yourself by older men who are mature and not focused on their insecurities and not focused on their looks, who are a, a bit older than you. I'd say specifically over the age of 35. Those are the men, there's something about the age of 35 that's magical when you finally start understanding how the world actually works. So that's what I would say. Ultimately, yeah, you don't want to take it personally, but naturally you are. But ultimately, it's a matter of, and maybe it helps to think of it in a fatalistic point of view as far as, okay, well, maybe we, I don't have the right personality. That's who I am though. I gotta be who I am, right? I can be a more mature version of myself, but ultimately, if I can't, if I don't have the chemistry she needs, then she's not going to be challenged by me. She's not gonna be, interested in me, I'm not going to be mysterious enough, or I'm not going to be open enough, or whatever it is, or you just wait until you're mature enough, and then suddenly you can attract these females you couldn't before. So ultimately, I always say work on your maturity level, that's what it comes down to. And the way you do that, the less you focus on yourself, the more you focus on others, the more you focus on becoming what you need to be for other people, that's how you're going to ultimately find yourself in a new bracket. And Coming back full circle, I like what Jeremiah said here, where he said, for some reason my mind cannot accept the fact that there will be someone newer and better. Well, just imagine this, whoever that girl is in high school, she's a high school kid, right? We, I am so different than who I was in high school. That was a long time ago, it was 21 years ago that I graduated high school, actually, now that I think about it. Could we say the same basic personality? Sure but a completely different person beyond that. Same body, same personality, but a completely different way my mind works. And that's the whole point. We're always changing. But you're young and that's your fault. There's so much you have to know. Cat Stevens, father and son is the name of the song. Look it up. I plan to actually cover it on this channel soon. So ultimately, who she is now, she's gonna change. I have a video I've made on here for this series before. You become a new person every five years. So. Who she's going to be from five years from now, who knows? You may not even be attracted to who she becomes in five years. And I'm not talking about looks, I'm talking about as a person. You may not like who she becomes in five years. You're going to be a completely different person in five years, in two years even. So ultimately, we're all maturing, and we're maturing that much more before the age of 35. If you haven't, really 30 is when things start getting serious about re realizing, okay, I need to focus on how adulthood actually works. But by 35, you really kind of jump on board with how things actually work. So that's what I want to say. Ultimately, you're going to be a better person. You'll probably become the person that she needed now in a couple years. But by the time you become that person, she's become someone else. And by the time you have become the person she needed two years ago, now you're in this whole bracket of people who are attracted to you that probably wouldn't have been before because now you're more mature and you're focused on other people and you're focused on your confidence level and boosting that up, learning what you're good at, what you're bad at, having a sense of humor and laughing at the things that you're not good at. So ultimately, I think we have to recognize we're always maturing, we're always becoming different people. And if we're not, if we're not then that's actually the problem. Another song reference, The Wallflowers. Uh, I think the song is called The Only Difference. And he says, the only difference that I see is you're exactly the same as you used to be. In other words, 
everyone else has grown up and become a better version of themselves, you're still the same person. So let's assume we all become better people and you end up finding that better person because now you have leveled up to become the person that she needed a couple years ago, but now there's all these better versions of her, even better, but it's, you, have, you have to level up to it. That's my wisdom for you. Comments belong right here.